And how difficult would it have been to simulate the moon's one-sixth gravity? Researchers have noticed that when the rover was filmed driving across the dusty surface, the dust thrown up by the rover's wheels clumps. Just as it would if it were driven in a location where there's an atmosphere. Had the rover really been performing in a vacuum, the lunar conditions, not only would the dust have sprayed out in a perfect and progressive parabolic arc, but due to the reduced gravity, this arc would have risen up to six times higher than it would have done on Earth. This Apollo footage records the dust actually being stopped in its tracks as it encounters an atmosphere. The moon has a much lower surface gravity, like it's one-sixth of the surface gravity on the Earth. So m pictures of falling things, you see things moving, falling slowly, and you see people moving about as if they don't weigh very much. So faking these motion pictures, and remember that many of the pictures returned from the Apollo project were motion pictures, that really show people operating in an environment where they weigh, they and, and the, their equipment weighs about one-sixth of what it would on the, on the Earth. So it's really very difficult to fake. In a, in, a, in a studio on the Earth, where the gravity would, of course, be normal. In the 1999 revised edition of Apollo, From the Earth to the Moon, an astronaut is heard to say, there's no dust, no dust at all. Which is only possible if the exercise is taking place on a hard surface. Nine miles an hour. Well, I can see I'm going to have to keep my eyes on the road. However, there are carving well. lines through the loose so, surface uh, coating. A little rise. There's no dust, no dust at all. The steering is quite responsive. And if there are tracks in the surface coating, then there should also be significant movement of surface material arcing out from under the wheels of the rover. In this respect, the new sequence is in direct contrast to the original 16mm Apollo camera footage. The statement, there's no dust, doesn't even belong with this action, but with the earlier arrival of the LEM. The rewriting of the record 
for which there is allegedly already authentic documentation, does not in any way help to preserve the real credentials of the original. It only demonstrates that in a probable attempt to avoid the scandal of the millennium, NASA has chosen to support a revised edition of Apollo. But in our view, the agency has chosen poorly.